Hi everyone. In this video we'll be looking at how to work with Avada Builder Library Global Assets. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. As part of the Avada Builder Library, you can save and edit containers, columns or elements as global assets. This means you can create and save one instance of an item and deploy it on many pages. And if you make changes to it later, it instantly updates on all the pages you have deployed it on. For more information on the Avada Builder Library, be sure to watch the Avada Builder Library video linked in the description below. OK, so let's look at an example. On the Avada Gym pre-built website, there is a container at the bottom of the page here that is the perfect candidate to be a global container, as the same container is at the bottom of every page on the site, just above the footer. But this website was made before global containers were introduced, and so for my example, I'm going to save this container as a global container, add it to all the pages, replacing the old one, and then make some changes to that global container. To start, I'm going to save my container here to the library. I'll just call this one CTA for call to action. And the only thing I need to do to make it global is to tick this Save as Global checkbox when saving it. OK, there's my global container. And as you can see, it has a globe icon on it to differentiate it from a normal save container. And when we close the library, you can now see it is a global container from the globe icon and the different color border and element controls. In the backend builder, global elements have a different background color. OK, so now I need to go and replace the old container with the global one on all the other pages. I could add it from the library, or I could also just use the builder's right click feature to simply copy the global container and paste it in. I'll copy this and save the page, and then I'll come over to one of my other pages, right click on the existing container, and choose Paste Before. And then I will delete the old container and save the page again. I'll just do that to all the pages and then I'll be back. OK, so now all the pages have this global container at the very bottom. The advantage of doing it this way is that if I need to make a change to this container at any time, I don't have to edit each page again. Now they're all connected. So let's say I now realize I want to add something else to the CTA container. Because it's global, any edits I make will be reflected on all pages it's deployed on. I can either edit it on any instance where it is deployed, or I can navigate to Avada Library. And here I can see my saved items. In this case, I only have the one. If I mouse over my CTA container, which I can see is global from this icon, I can choose to edit it. This opens it in the Avada Builder, and I'll just quickly make my changes. I'll change this first column to 3 fifths, and change the button column to 1 fifth, and then clone it, which adds another button to my container. I'll just edit that button and call that one Visit Us. Now I won't set this up in this example, but I could get that button to trigger a modal with a Google Map on it, or I could just link it to another page. See the link docs below the video for more information on modals. All I have to do now is save my changes. And now I'll return to one of the pages to see our changes. Let's refresh, and scroll down to see our freshly updated global container. And of course, any changes made to globally saved items will affect every page they are deployed on. So this one has updated on every page I added it to. If for some reason you wish to edit a global item without it affecting the other deployed items, if you edit the page in question and mouse over the globe icon at the top right of the item, you'll see that you can click on that icon to disable its global status. In this way, you can edit a particular instance of that item without it affecting the others. I'll just click the globe and we get a dialog asking us to confirm our action. I'll just say yes to this, and now we can edit it as we wish. But then of course it's no longer global and will no longer be updated if the global container is. Also, if you delete a global element on the page, it does not remove it from the library, just that one instance of it. OK, that's global assets in the Avada Builder Library. It's an especially useful tool when you have the same content in multiple places on your website and you want an easy way to update them all at once. This concludes our video on how to work with Avada Builder Library Global Assets. 
Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.